Hi, this is Walter at the club, and I'm going to talk about the approach shot. Anytime your opponent hits a short ball and you come to the net, that's when you're hitting an approach shot. Either they're hitting a short ball or you're doing something to create a short ball, like maybe a, a powerful topspin forehand from your ad side to their backhand that forces your opponent back, and then they have to step back and hit a difficult shot which 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 then makes a short ball onto your side that you can attack so that's a approach shot three things that you want to keep in mind in order to hit a successful approach shot is this number one opportunity the opportunity ball so through patterns and tactics that you're doing on the court as soon as you recognize that opportunity ball that's the ball that you got to come in and hit a half volley or a volley out of the air or something attacking the net. Number two, do something to make your opponent feel uncomfortable. So either a heavy topspin ball on the forehand or a topspin on the backhand or a, a, a good slice, something to get your opponent to, to be uncomfortable. And number three, make use of the one-third principle, which is on the singles court, if you divide the court into three segments, when you get a ball in the middle of the court on your side, you can hit it to the outer segments of your opponent's side of the court. Or when you have the ball land on your outer sides on your side of the court, you can hit it to the middle or up the same side. So those three things are really important and they can help you with your approach shot. In my next video, I'm going to talk about a good footwork drill that you can do while being quarantined. Here's a good footwork drill that you can work on at home to help you with the approach shot. Watch my feet carefully. It's called the hop step. What you're going to do is you're going to go like this. You're going to split, see the opportunity ball, move your feet, plant your front foot, and then land on your front foot again while your body is moving through the shot. That's, the, that's really, really important. You don't want to be stopping before you hit. You want your weight to be moving through the ball. So I'm going to show you one more time. You're going to be waiting for the ball. All of a sudden you see the opportunity ball. You split. You move your feet so you you go on your, le your left foot. If it's a forehand, your front foot. And then you hop and then land on that same foot. That keeps you sideways and moving through the shot. This is your weekly challenge to see how many flip-flop edges you can do. Make sure you're in your continental grip and then you go like this, flip, flop, edgy, 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 flip, flop, edgy. Okay, that's the first one. If that's too difficult, you can also do just flip flops, flip, flop, flip, flop, and then keep going as long as you can and then send me that video. I want to see how you're doing at home. Send us your videos.